This is Whole Nation, I'm Rich Pyle, and this is the Bat Shot Crazy Challenge. And here's how it works. The competitors will have to spin with this bat on their forehead five times in a circle, run over to the bags, they got 10 seconds to throw four bags. Whoever gets the most points wins. It's that easy, watch this. Yo, yo, what's up ACO? Derek Williams here, Alabama baby. I'm about to take down Patrick Barger in this baseball cornhole fiasco. Here we go, baby. Going for the Grand Slam. Woo! All in two spot. Let's go. I'm Patrick Barger. Fix to take Derek Williams down this bat shot crazy. He don't even know what's coming. Yes, <laughs> oh. And go. I think I got more distance. Oh. I lost. <laughs> now I'm gonna go throw up. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Did you go out on the baseball field? No. You didn't go on the field? No. Are you going to go on the field? Maybe. Maybe you're going to go uh, play a game of catch? Um, I don't got my baseball stuff. Maybe we can find a glove and we can go play some catch. Who are we going to ask them? Who do you think? Anybody that has a glove? Yeah. And then we'll play some catch? Yeah. Sounds like a deal. Let's do it. How do you feel about playing a cornhole tournament here at the Field of Dreams? It's awesome. Did you ever think it was going to happen? Never. I swelled and I had another swelling job and then it went down and I tell you it wasn't worth a damn for nothing. Your head, still, your head still didn't swell but down it, did it? My head up never go down. No? <laughs> I think we're going to need some subtitles because I didn't understand a word any of these guys said. We got Matt Gammon. Matt, you were big into baseball your whole life, weren't you? Yes, sir. What was the highest level you played at? Uh, I, well, I committed to Division One at Eastern Illinois, and then I went and played in a big summer league with a bunch of SEC guys, and I hurt my arm real bad, and that kind of ended it for me. But, yeah, that was that's about as high as I got. So playing at the Field of Dreams, is it like something that means something a little more special to you as a baseball player? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, that's what I grew up doing my whole life before Cornhole. That's all I did. And so, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, it means a lot to me. Did you play catch out on the field yet? I have not yet. Did you bring your mitt? I did not. <laughs> I tell everybody your names and where you're from. Steve Engerbretz in Westland, Michigan. Parker Den in Lansing, Michigan. How are you? Now you guys qualified to go to the final rounds tomorrow, right? We did. Yes, we did. Sure. Yes, sir. That's right. <laughs> now you got you did something really cool this time, though. I've heard the story from a number of different people. You uh, rented a house on a farm just down the road here, right? Yeah, we did. It was, it's called a granary, actually, where they used to store the grain. They converted it into a uh, like an Airbnb. It's really, really cool. A lot of fun. Working farm. They have like 300 head of pigs. And what about the rest of the pig? Just the, just the heads? Just the heads. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> now, did you guys see the movie Field of Dreams? Absolutely. And what was your favorite part of the movie? I guess it was my favorite part was when the wife talked to the husband and said, "We spent all our money on this baseball field." And then it happened for them anyway, because they had a dream to make it happen. So, so basically, the fact that fate put the wife in her place. Correct. No. 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 